Hi everybody, my name is Gracie. I am the Parent Star Specialist here at the Children's Museum Houston and thank you for joining us for another Tuesday's Brain Builders activity. Today we have a super cool activity, but before we do that, I want to thank the McGovern Foundation and the Hamill Foundation for sponsoring our activity today. Now, parents, do you have a bunch of magazines at home or newspapers that you just don't know what to do with them? Well, why don't we try to make them into necklaces? I'll show you how. Let's go. All right, the first step, I'm gonna grab a little tiny piece of tape. You don't need much. This is a little tiny piece. You can also use glue if you don't have tape. And I'm gonna move that to the side. I'm gonna grab one of the pieces of triangle. This is the base and this is the, the very point. I'm gonna put the pencil at the base. And I'm gonna try to wrap it around the pencil as tightly as I can and roll it all the way to the point. So just keep rolling it, rolling it, rolling it, and rolling it. Then grab your piece of tape, tape it down, and gently take it out of the pencil, and you have a wonderful bead. Next, repeat the step with the other pieces of triangle, as many as you would want beads. That is up to you and more personal preference. Okay, and once you're happy with the number of beads that you have, you're going to cut off a piece of yarn to the length that you want to make your necklace. Remember to leave room to make a knot at the end when you tie it up and start in putting your beads in the order that you want. Then you tie it up and you have a beautiful necklace. Okay, everybody, that's all I have for you today. I hope you guys enjoyed your beautiful necklace. Fun fact, paper necklaces have been popular since the 1800s and they're still really popular today. It's also a really good way to reuse items and reusing items also keeps things out of landfills. Well, it's been Gracie. I hope you guys enjoy and remember to subscribe to our YouTube channel. Bye!